Hi, I'm on the fishing dock of the first island of Kilonor. Welcome to episode 6 of the Chronological Time Traveler series. This is how the world map currently looks like on update day of 11th of June 2001. Musa Point on the island of Karamja has been released. And with a new area also comes a new quest, Pirate's Treasure. As for the skilling updates, pottery crafting got expanded, a new location to mine gold, 16 new pieces of food that you can try to cook, and RuneScape also just got its very first new skill. Let us complete this game update by starting with the new quest. The first major difference that I've noticed between Pirate's Treasure of RuneScape Classic and Old School RuneScape is the White Apron. A White Apron is required for you to wear to be able to get access into the Port Serum Food Store. And White Aprons are only available in the Varrock Clothing Store. So there's no easy access to a spawn in the fishing store next door. It, the apron goes into the amulet slot, not the body slot. Nice. What? That's new. Next, in Old School RuneScape, you receive a pirate's message from Hector's chest in the Blue Moon Inn. This wasn't originally, and the message was put in the chat box, which disappeared after like 6 seconds. Um, uh, I didn't read what it said, and the key is gone. Um, I hope it's still Felder Park, <laughs> else, um, uh, um, uh, I need to get another key to get another message. <laughs> uh, what is this? And the final difference, which stumped me for quite a bit, is that you need to use a spade on a flower to start digging. Even though the spade has a dig option, it actually did not do anything. So that is how it works. You don't need to dig with your spade, it doesn't do shit. You need to use your spade on flowers. And that is how you dig up the treasure. Nice! And the reward of the pirate's treasure quest has remained the same for the last 23 years. With the 1000 GP made by completing this quest, I now have some starting cash to buy some fishing supplies and bait. Because these will definitely be needed to train the very first added skill to RuneScape. Fishing was released with 5 different kinds of tools to catch 10 different kinds of fish. Fishing in RuneScape Classic works identical to woodcutting and mining in RuneScape Classic. You use your specific tool from your inventory and use it on a node in-game. Then, if the message in your chat box says that you failed to catch something, then you'll need to use your tool from the inventory on the node again to try again. If you have successfully gathered something, you will gain the resource and a little bit of XP. My goal is to catch and successfully cook every single new fish. This will require 50 fishing and 45 cooking. The cooking requirement is already completed by my previous chicken massacre, but I will still cook every single cost fish since there are still plenty of quests to go that will require cooking XP. Ooh, I need like 1700 or so. Oh no, I need a lot of money or I need to slay some chickens. Mm, yeah, I think that should be enough. 1800 feathers, that should get me a couple of fishing levels. That were 300 chickens slain for one defense and one prior level. Right, let's go back to Port Serum because I sold my regular fishing rod, which I still need for the six new fish that got released today. The fishing XP rate is getting nuts. I'm getting 14,000 XP per hour here. Wow, that is already level 25 in like three inventory slots. That is fish number six, the pike. Give it another go. And that is the sixth new fish caught and cooked. Right, I'm gonna continue fishing trout until the next new fish number seven out of ten with 14,000 xp per hour this is not gonna take long at all and now that i've got one maybe i can already successfully cook it 
And that is fish 8 out of 10 caught and cooked. Since catching trout and salmon is the fastest XP per hour, I think I'm going to just simply stay here until I've unlocked the next and the final two fish. Okay, let's see here. Tuna. Successfully cooked. Lobster. Successfully cooked. What is going on? Swordfish. Also, nice. That is all the 10 new fish and the 10 new additional food successfully cooked. You know, this fishing update is amazing for when you're going to be farming the ice giant boss. The previous best food was kebabs, in my opinion. They're easy to get and they heal usually three, but also can heal up to like 20. I preferred using kebabs because the other alternative was to use pies and making pies from scratch every single inventory is a huge hassle. And I think going to Alcari to buy some kebabs was a lot easier. But now with the new fishing update, you can get tuna, lobsters and swordfish, which heal 10, 12 and 14. And the source of these fish is also much closer than going all the way to a carrot and buy them one piece at a time. So this would have been so amazing if I didn't have already the best in slot mithril square shield from these guys. So there we go, that's already a black kite shield, which is currently not released yet. So I cannot equip this. Same as for the big bones, that is also not released yet. So this drop basically did not get released yet. Also, by the way, a minor note, banks yet do not exist yet. So basically everyone is still an ultimate Iron Man. No banks, no looting bags, no death storage. If you die, you lose everything or you need to get back within two minutes with only being able to walk is basically losing all of your stuff upon death. Combine this with no banks in game. I'm really liking the hardship of this game at the moment. Next up, there are also six additional new cooking training methods. Three of which are different kinds of pizzas, two different kinds of cakes and stew. Good thing that basically all of these requirements can be bought from the food store in Port Serum. Let's make a pizza base three times. Add tomatoes three times. Usually it's done one by one, obviously, in classic. There's no X or all button. Then I need to cook one plain pizza. Please don't burn. That is one out of three pizzas completed. How do I make meat pizza? Do I first need to use the meat? I do not. That is the meat pizza because I burned the second one. Do I use anchovies on the raw pizza? No. Okay. So I need to use cooked anchovies on a cooked plain pizza to make anchovies pizza. That are all the three pizzas created. There is just two cakes and stews remaining. So therefore I'll need a brass pickaxe to be able to make a bowl for the stew, which is also a new crafting method released today. And for the cakes, I will need some more flour. So first pickaxe. And then I'm going to grab some more flour from the mill since the food store in Port Serum is quite far away. Oh yeah, I will also need to continue my goblin slaughter for a cook's hat since cakes are only available in the cook's guild. Because not only the cake tin is only available from a single spawn in the cook's guild, also a chocolate bar which is needed for a chocolate cake is only available from a spawn in the cook's guild. First, let's grab some flour. Here we are again at the cooking guild, just like in March with the release. So, where there is the chocolate bar needed for the chocolate cake. Now, where is the cake tin though? Uh, there it is, right there. And a bowl as well. Wait, I didn't even need the clay then. Well, I still need to do the crafting method, so... Nothing to worry there. Let's use the egg on the cake tin. Bake the cake. Successfully. Oh my god. That is the first cake successfully cooked. Use this on a chocolate bar. 
and get the second cake successfully made. Cool! Now there's only one more item remaining and therefore I will need a bowl of water. So I think the ingredients for stew, if I recall correctly, is just a potato and some cooked meat. I think. Uncooked stew, yes. Stew, that is the 16th new cooking item successfully created. Now, before I go, there is a new crafting method, which increases your XP per hour by just slightly. Last video, I've spent 30 hours making pie dishes to 50 crafting. And now we have a new crafting method, which is a bowl. By the way, for the people that want to see my bank, it is currently empty and the only thing that you can store in your bank is coins but since i basically always need coins with me to be able to interact with npcs and stores i kind of always want this on me so having a bank currently is pretty useless it was very much useful back in runescape classic because if you chose to be a pker when you were first creating your account then pvp is enabled everywhere but if you do not choose to be a pker then since there is no pvp anywhere in the game i think banks are currently still pretty useless now before moving on to the next game update there are just two more additional miscellaneous updates the first one being is that there's now a toll gate between lumbridge and el Herit. so if you want to do the prince el rescue quest you no longer need to reverse all the way north to exit el Carrot and then go all the way back south back to Lumbridge to go to Drainer Village and do that three times to be able to do that quest. The second miscellaneous update has to do with wine. Wines now require a cooking level to be able to add grapes to a jug of water. Six seconds after attempting to put grapes in a jug, you now either get wine or bad wine. The item Unfermented Wines are from today deleted until RuneScape 2. And lastly, jugs of wine are no longer drunk in two doses, such as Pies that was released on the same day in March 2001. So from today, the only way to get a half-drunk jug of wine is from the spawn in the Chaos Temple near Goblin Village until the release of Wine of Zamorak. And after that, the half-drunk jug of wine has been completely discontinued. So, let's move on to the next game update, and for that there is a new crafting method that I would like to try out. So, let's clean up this inventory by selling everything to the general store. On the game update of the 23rd of June 2001, Cows are now attackable, and when defeated, they drop bones, cowhide, and raw meat. The origin of meat has yet to be differentiated, so chickens, cows, and rats all drop the same raw meat that you can put in a stew. Anyway, cowhide is the newly released item today, and we can take this cowhide to the two new buildings added to El Carrot. The first one has a tanner inside, whom can convert our cowhide to leather. And the second new building is the second crafting store in-game, after Remington. And in there, we can buy a needle and thread to create some leather gloves, boots or leather armor. The Comet Triangle does not exist in RuneScape Classic, and ranged armor does not either. A leather body was simply a weaker version of a bronze chain body in RuneScape Classic. But we're not doing it for profit, we are doing this method to train crafting. So let's do this for at least an hour. And after one hour of leather crafting, I can definitely tell you that leather crafting is the way to go. With pottery crafting, you get abysmal mining XP, but with leather crafting, you get comet XP and much needed prayer XP. That also combined with a lot higher XP per hour, leather crafting is definitely the way to go. Even though pottery crafting just got expanded with the ability to make bowls, 
I think that pottery crafting is still around 3000 XP per hour. While leather crafting, I already get bumped up to 4000 XP per hour. But I also think that I will not be doing a leather crafting all the way to level 70 since I still need to make a power amulet for myself. And therefore, we will need to go to the next game update, because the next game update in the next month, we once again get another crafting method. Now, if you notice, there are quite a low amount of cows in this cow field, and that is because, apparently, in RuneScape Classic, the only cows available are the ones that are black and white. If I turn off the plugin, then all of a sudden, all the other cows that are brown and white, or just simply brown, or all the cow calves, suddenly appear. In the next video, we're moving on to July 2001. And in July, there's going to be one more crafting method, but also the first major power creep in-game. See you in the next one. Make sure to subscribe, rate, and comment. Okay, bye.